Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun with my lovely wife, Yana Benun, and we're bringing to you today Biblical Truths here on our brand new channel. It's actually my wife's channel, but we'll be sharing things together on here called Examining Biblical Truths. We trust that this message will be a blessing to you and maybe uploaded in some other places as well so that we can get the word out and get people coming to listen. Yeah, well, we uh, this particular session is dedicated to Jehovah's Witnesses or ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who are really struggling with where to go after they left the Watchtower. And uh, we decided to do a video because we received a letter from a person uh, we dearly love, but that person is in the Watchtower organization. And today, apparently, uh, in Israel, the high court enables witnesses peaceful assembly. So I suppose that they were allowed by government to have their convention as opposed to the past when they couldn't congregate officially. Right, that's exactly right. More than likely so. But but the thing is, it's it's funny. It's uh, The government allows pretty much any Christian organization to do that. Even we will actually be speaking publicly in an auditorium in Jerusalem in September, uh, just the same as Jehovah's Witnesses have been granted, we've also been granted the same type of ability to speak publicly in Israel about Christianity. Nevertheless, uh, they did get uh, their permission to have a convention, and uh, we have received this letter, and I'll read it to you. It says, Shame on all those who has nothing else to do in this rotten world, but persecute those who practice love and peace, and waiting peacefully for the Messiah to come. Uh, the person feels that they're persecuted uh, because they feel that they are the only true religion and they go through a lot of persecution. And uh, why? Because some people or Christian people would not agree with their theology or maybe they would not welcome them at the door every Saturday morning so they feel persecuted, right? But the reason actually I am doing this video is because the person said something here. She said, we are waiting peacefully for the Messiah to come. And I would like to uh, point out and make this video for all Christians that will come in contact with Jehovah's Witnesses so you can answer them, so you can understand what they believe and perhaps uh, plant some seeds and lead them to the correct path. Because when they tell you they're waiting for a Messiah, this is actually a lie. The Jehovah's Witnesses teach that Messiah has already arrived. And actually the date for his arrival is given as 1914, correct? Exactly. They don't believe it was too... Well, I know they believe that Yeshua came 2,000 years ago but they actually believe that his second coming, his second return was fulfilled in 1914. And as we've often said, well, when Yeshua comes, this is when the millennial reign sets in. And if that's the case, I'm very disappointed in the millennial reign if it's under this particular circumstance. But clearly, we're definitely not in a millennial reign. Well, what actually is important to understand that uh, in the 1900s, uh, their leader, Charles Taze Russell, was actually preaching uh, that Jesus Christ is going to arrive in 1914 visibly. They did believe at the time in a visible return of Jesus Christ, and he gave a date of 1914. So Jehovah's Witnesses at the time, uh, they were known as Watchtower Organization, and they're known as such today, but they did change their name to Jehovah's Witnesses. But they believe that Jesus is coming in 1914 visibly to earth. And when this didn't happen, uh, this is when they changed the doctrine. And they said, well, he still came in 1914, but instead of visibly, he came invisibly. So since that time, the, their doctrine never changed. And up till now, they're actually preaching that Jesus Christ actually came already. He came in 1914, but it was an invisible return. Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe that Jesus is coming back to this earth in a bodily form, in a body, to be the king in Jerusalem 
for 1000 years. Uh, in fact, I remember when I first time learned about uh, this fact that Jesus is coming, I was so surprised, but at the same time I was completely overjoyed to learn that Jesus Amen. is actually coming to this earth to be a king in Israel. And um, that was just the most wonderful time of my life to learn this truth. And I'm so looking forward to his coming. So I would like to uh, challenge Jehovah's Witnesses at the door when they tell you, oh, we are just waiting for the Messiah to come. Because this is what they will tell you at the door. But once you accept Bible study with them, they will tell you, well, he actually came already in 1914, see? And now it's only going to fulfill that he will be from heaven, uh, our king. But actually who is going to be on this earth will be their elders, their ministerial servants, men in these organizations are going to be like princes on this earth and Jesus will be in heaven with their 144,000 ruling over this earth. But they completely deny that Jesus is coming back in his body to this earth to be the king in Israel. And I actually sent her a few Bible verses that I want you to write down and next time Jehovah's Witness come to your door, please read it to them, read those verses to them Amen. and ask them, how do you reconcile this with your doctrines uh, that you're telling me Jesus already came in 1914, but Bible says this, for example, in Matthew 24, 30, we read, then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. I also sent her more biblical verses today in email and I'll read them to you. Please write them down so you can have it handy. Amen. And we'll try to put these also in the description box as well. Yes. At least the names of the verses so that you can look them up as well in case you don't catch it in the video here. Revelation 1 7, for example, says, Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all people on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. Now we have another verse in 1 John uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 2, where it says, We know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him just as he is. Amen. You see, all of these verses are actually pointing to the fact that we are going to physically see with our eyes the coming of Messiah with the power and great glory, and all the people on the earth will see him. So uh, this is this is a very good way of having a conversation with them and they will not tell you immediately at the door that Jesus already came in 1914 but you will already know so you can tell them that you know of this doctrine that they believe that Jesus already came invisibly but they also don't believe that he's ever coming back here visibly in his body so yeah. you can challenge them by these scriptures and you can help them to see and ask them, do you believe the scriptures? When they see, we shall see him and every eye shall see him. Or do you believe explanation of the Watchtower? Uh, they teach them in Watchtower magazines that he came in 1940. See, that scripture plainly teaches that Jesus is coming and he will be visible Amen. and we'll see him face to face. That's right. Right? Amen. Because Amen. it Bible teaches we'll see him as he is and we yes. will be like him. And um, every eye shall see him and every knee shall bow down Amen. That's in right. his name. So uh, point those scriptures out to Jehovah's Witnesses. Amen. Read those scriptures to them. So that way maybe you will plant some seeds in their hearts and there will be some hope for these people. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. We trust this has been a blessing for you and yes. uh, and and share the gospel. You know, don't yes. just close the door on them. Remember, they honestly believe what they believe is true. Yes, they do. And many of them, they need to know the love of Yeshua. So show yes. them that love that God has already shown to you as well.